Its diggers and tools help prepare for Donald Trump's inauguration. It supplies fencing to the Glastonbury Festival and its kit is used on just about every major building project. Today, Ashdead, the UK's biggest equipment rental firm, reported a 7% rise in full-year pre-tax profits to £793 million. Jeff Dravel is the chief executive and joins me now. So, Jeff, 90% of your business is in the US. To what extent were these results flattered by the uh, weak pound and the strong dollar? Well, the 7% wasn't. That was a constant currency. Uh, we were including currency, um, our growth was 23% um, at a profit level and 28% from a revenue perspective. So, yes, if you include currency, it flatters the numbers a lot, but underlying growth is around about mid-teens growth in both revenue and profit. Very honest of you to highlight the underlying figure rather than the uh, currency flattered one, I'm sure. It'll go the other way someday. <laughs> <laughs> so how confident are you that Donald Trump is going to get all his big infrastructure spending plans through Congress? Um, no more than we have been. I mean, what you have to remember is the US economy is now very, very strong. It was before Donald Trump took office and it remains strong now. Anything he is going to do on either taxation or infrastructure won't help us for two to three years. Uh, in the meantime, a lot more Americans have got jobs, they've got more money in their pockets. And despite a lot of the noise around it all, they're feeling pretty good about life. You hear that? Uh, that's the what your guys in the depots over there? Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. I mean, you could, you could be mistaken from looking at the press here in Europe and thinking there's a world of disarray in North America. I go around our depots and our staff are very happy around who they voted for. They think he's doing exactly what he said he was going to do, which is clean up Washington, and they're feeling very confident about the economy. He still hasn't built that wall, though. Well, you know, again... If he does, that will be fantastic in terms of volume of business. Whether it's fantastic politically is, is another matter. Um, all of these things, like I said, are long-term projects which may well extend our cycle. In the meantime, we're not banking on it. We've, we've posted good results this year. We're looking at good, good growth again next year, none of which is predicated on any of these initiatives. You, you don't have any more objections to helping him build his wall, then? Uh, look, if somebody wants to build something, we will, someone's going to provide them the equipment, we will provide them the equipment. Right, right. Oh, you, couldn't, you couldn't be more clear there. What about the uh, state of the UK market right now? I mean, you're the, you're the number one player. Yep. You've still only got about 6% of the market, though. I mean, are there lots of small operators that you could hoover up? Yes, we are. We, we, we did a number of acquisitions during the course of uh, last year. Um, I would anticipate doing more this year, mainly around the specialty markets. It's around uh, the entertainment space, industrial space. Uh, rental is becoming a much broader option than just construction. And, yes, I would see us further gaining market share by bought on acquisitions. I mean, the construction data from the UK has been pretty patchy lately, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, in all honesty, it's a little bit better than I expected it to be. I sort of held my breath after Brexit, waiting for it all to go horribly wrong, and it kind of hung in there. Um, you know, we'll see what's happened after the events of last week. You know, as we sit... Well, you have to remember, it's a long gestation period. Whatever happened on Thursday, every crane we can see from this uh, office, Ian, will keep moving for the next year or two. It's what investment will come in two to three years down the track. And that's, that's the area where we've got to be watching very, very carefully. But is it easy for you to see through that fog and, and concentrate on what three years hence? Yes, I think it is, because you look at starts data. You know, we are mainly in non-residential um, construction, therefore the financing and planning phase, you can see what is coming along the track or not coming along the track fairly easily. So don't be distracted by the activity level on the ground, look at the planning.